Welcome to Messages for Humanity. I am Grace, channeling my beloved son, John. And this is a message from our book, um, Empowerment on Defensiveness. You cannot defend and armor your heart and be wide open loves simultaneously. To defend is to make an attack real. When you guard your heart, you allow fear to take the place of love in your mind. Spirituality is about mastering the mind, body, heart, and spirit. A joyous harmonic alignment of the mind, body, and spirit's creative partnership within you. In order to yoke and become one with soul, mind, and body, you must first be clear in the distinction of what you are and where you have power. You are the eternal soul. You are not the temporary body or ego mind. However, your soul can also be called mind, capital M, mind. The non-physical place of oneness on the level of your conscious awareness. When you realize that you're not a brain or ego or a limited individual consciousness or the conditioning nor the body and personality, you discover where your power lies, the infinite empowered soul. The soul needs to master both the lower mind, physical and subtle body in order to attain sacred embodiment. When we become defensive, we have taken on the belief that we are the body and the lower ego mind, believing we have been attacked. When we believe we've been attacked or could be attacked, we feel threatened by this potential attack. So we must guard ourselves, shut down our hearts. We forget we are an eternal, invincible soul power and believe our power is external. When we forget our power is within and believe it is without, any external circumstance can spiral us into upset at any time. You believe you are a victim, weak and threatened, needing to protect yourself from the external world. When you believe you are a body that needs to be defended, you forget where your safety dwells. Not in the body, but in the heart, the capital N mind, the soul. Your power and safety dwell in your choice to know the truth about yourself rather than the lies. The truth is that you are a powerful, infinite, all-loving soul presence not a vulnerable, temporary, very limited body and brain. Once you realize your power is within, not without, you no longer need to defend your heart against the imagined external threats. The world you perceive is a reflection of your inner consciousness. If there is something you don't like, you can take responsibility and heal this at the source. Defenseless love will free you from attack because if you are free and have no inner defenses, your world will reflect only love. When you know what you are as a God vibration, a creative and empowered external extension of divine source, one in and as this source. You don't ever need to defend what you are. It is your divine right. Your thoughts become aligned with the divine self, your conscious awareness, the true eternal self. You then swim in the stream of God's thoughts, your highest will. Then your soul's will and God's will become one, as they always are, the unified will within the universe.
us. Thank you for listening to this message on defensiveness and defense, non-defensive love. Uh, I am Grace. Please check out our book on empowerment. Um, you are always free to choose by John and Grace. Wishing you a most beautiful and most blessed day. Namaste.